Yo, what up, y'all? Let's cook. All right, so. I am in the, I'm going to go through, let's find a patch from the Integra 7. And then we'll just see what we can come up with unscripted. So hang on for the ride. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Let's see how we can flip that. Uh, let's try reversing it first, since that's the easiest, the usual culprit, right? Nah, let's keep it how it was. E. Let's try to add... What do we want to do? Let's go Murder Melodies first by Slate Digital. You know what? I wanted to try that Heat Wave. I heard that was fire. Let's see what that does. All right. Let's just run through some presets. Okay, so that's just saturation. We don't want that. Let's go with our original thought process, murder melody presets. So I like that. Let's put some spread on it. And I'm going to turn down the reverse effect a little bit. Let's go through some more. Cut some of the top end off with the low pass filter. Cut some bottom end out too. Let's go up to like one fifty. Before. After. Uh, I want some verb on it. Let's do. Let's add some motion. Which is modulation. Just to give it some movement. Put some verb on it. More modulation.
I slowed the delay. I exaggerated it for the, so you can hear the effect. So let's do about 20%. Let's go up 100% on overall processing. Let's do 260 on the cutoff of the high pass. And now I'm, gonna ch I'm just going to blend back in the uh, processed amount. Let's go 50%. Ah, let's let it play and see what sounds best. So I'm going to turn some of this verb down because I already know I want to send it to a because I'm going to send it to a darker verb anyway. All right. So let's set that up right now. Let's do bus two. We'll name it Hall. And I already know I'm going for the good old faithful vintage verb by Valhalla. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Let's go up by about, let's do 14 on the delay time, decay time. Let's go back down to four. All right, so I like that where it is so far. We're just doing a little sound design, right? Let's go hunting for another sound to layer that with. And I'm not going to quantize it. I'm just going to have it as a layer under the original pad. Let's add some bells to this. I want a vocal file tucked under there. So let's go to our friends over at Arcade and see if they can give us what we're looking for. C major, yeah, all right, so let's go search. Focal, I want something wavy too. I don't want it to be, well, we'll, we'll see what we come up with. What's this? Imagine all the things we could do. Oh, my heart, pull it way back. Why you wanna know? Boy, bye, bye. Why, oh, why? Ooh. 
So me, I like to play the beat while I'm sampling different takes or different uh, presets. And I just wait for something to catch my ear and then I'll choose that and then we'll edit it from there. Why you wanna know? Let's turn it down. Okay, so I like that in my business one. Let's keep going. Let's see what's this one. That was fire. <laughs> All right, I like that. I like what I heard at least. Let's see if we can um, catch whatever it was they did. All right, let's freestyle something. Quantize that. All right, let's bounce that the audio and then we'll flip it from there. Let's see what happens if we transpose that down twelve. Send it to some verb to that same hall group. Let's cut out some bottom in on that. So right here, we're just cutting off some bottom in and some top because if a vocalist goes on top of this, I don't want the frequencies clashing with the vocalist. All right, so since I want this like a faint effect, um, let's see what we can do to flip it also. I'll go back to mur Murder Melodies again because my other pads are already so active. I don't want this to be competing with the pads. So what happened if we reverse it? Let's do 50% for the amount. Let's see what happened if we reverse the bells. Yeah, we going reversed. What I'm gonna do now, take all four of those tracks and let's send them to their own bus. Cause I kind of want to glue it together with some compression since they're kind of making up the main sample. All right, uh, we just call it keys for now as a placeholder, doesn't matter. And let's go for LA2A.
Let's just glue it together. take the reverb off the individual channels since we've busted now let's go ahead and send everything to the reverb or just off of that bus what happens if we added some let's put some modulation I'm just trying something right now Let's go with, let's see what Pain Man does real quick. Kind of give us some movement so that if we do add a vocal, our vocalist gets on it, it's out of the way. All right, let's bring it in some. Good, good, good. Let's see what we can get with Phase Mistress. Let's just go through some presets. Let's turn that dry wet head mix down. Off. On. Let's go up some more in the mix. Let's see what happens if we put it before the painting. Pain man. I like it after it. Since that's the intro now, let's go ahead and make that a, let's see what a good old tape stop sounds like. All right, so right click slow down. Drum time. Let's try our bass against that. Let's keep the bass pocket.
So normally I'll do the hi-hats and everything else on a four bar loop or eight bar loop and then drag everything out. But I'm gonna show you how to drag everything out from now. Mute the snare, take the kick, click right here, click and hold. It's gonna export it while holding the mouse. I just drag it in the logic in the empty space, drag and drop. Boop. All right, so let's put a clap in this. All right, so notice on this reverb, right? Look at the pre-delay. I have it max, so it's causing a delay on that snare that I kind of like. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me if it's whack, I should delete, or should I just bring it back like this? Turn it down some. Or should we keep it like this? Listen to that second hit. It's kind of distracting, so. All right, let's put our hi-hats in here. That was an accident, but I kind of like it. Let's try this. <laughs> but I already know it's too long. Pause. Um, so I'm going to fade the end of it. Let's turn it to audio first, and then we can flip it. Uh, let's call this. I like that buzz on the top of it, too, even though I already know I'm going to EQ some of that out. All right, so let's fade some of this down. The reason I'm playing it in because I want the velocity to hit the way I want it to hit. If I just turn the note repeater on a machine, it's not going to give me the, the cadence. You know what I mean? The accents that I want. Like that. You can tell by the, the accents are the highest um, hits on the, on the MIDI file right here. So this one I want to bring down. About that. That's all I want, and I won't quantize that one. Because I don't like when the beat's too sterile, like everything's quantized to the T. I still like the sense of, um, like a realism, like somebody's actually playing the kit, you know what I mean? Maybe it's just me, but. Little feel, you know, hi hat feel. I won't call 
quanti- quantize that one either. You remember how I had the delay on the snare with the um, the pre-delay maxed out? To fill that snare hit out, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna send it to a delay and have it ping pong left to right. Try analog off. Let's go ping pong. Push it outside of the speakers. Shout out to Streaky for that tip. Um, let's go with a standard quarter note. Start and see how that feels. I like it, but I wanted to uh, do the echo every other bar. So let's automate that in. Let's click on latch. And I'm just going to turn it on and off. I can do it from the plug-in level or I can do it from the bus send level. Let's do it from the send level. So wait. All right, let's do it from the send the send on um, power button or insert button. All right, that's all I need. Press A on the keyboard so I can see it. Uh, where's the snare? Let's find that send mute. There it is. All right, so here I want it off. And as you can hear, I missed it. And you can see I missed it too. So let's slide this right before that transient. And then we'll have it back on. off like that so forth all right so let's see if we can copy this over without messing it up paste hey Let's do this. Let's add a little um, verb to that. Let's add some um, phaser to it. Let's see what it does to that delay on that snare hit. some preset I like that but now I want to send that to some verb so let's do a send to that same hall oops that's not how I wanted to do it let's put it directly on the channel itself Yeah, and then we'll take the mix down. See what that sounds like. I'll just turn down the send going to that um, bus for that snare delay. Just 
creating a little air candy, you know. Let's put that crash in there. So I like the bounce of it. I like the feel of it right now. As far as the hook, it's writable. Still a lot of space, a lot of pocket for the vocalist to do their thing um, without kind of suggesting what the melodic, melodic flow should be. Let's try a guitar in there. And I don't want to quantize it because I want it to kind of feel like the guitarist played it. And then I'm going to send it to like an amp cab and see if it makes sense. Let's start clean. Let's go through some more presets. to it hold on let me so let me solo it and turn the flange on and off so you can hear it to it where's that delay I just saw let's see what it sounds like in context Hold on, I know I'm gonna have to turn it down already, so let's just go to the output. I don't want it to be prominent in the in the body of what's already going on.
want it to, I want that delay time to be a little longer. Pause. Yeah. All right, let's compress that a little bit. slow compressors to kind of keep the delays in check so let's go back with the uh let's go with the, the 2a from universal let's volume match it first take all of our drums and send it to its own bus and we'll glue those together Our side chain at 60 so that the low frequencies aren't um, causing the compressor to overact. Let's go with a 4 to 1 ratio. Come on. My mouse is bugging. that output uh where's my main pad at? i wanted to pulsate so let's just to give it some more movement. Everything is all about movement and dynamics, right? So let's go with kickstart and see what that sounds like. That's off. That's off. This is on. So instead of putting it on that sound, let's put it on the overall bus and see what it sounds like. Let's send that guitar into that bus also. Just giving everything some movement. I could turn my delay on that snare up some.
That's the quarter. Half. Let's see what it sounds like in context. Quarter. Let's see what coming out of the intro sounds like. back in build out the rest of the track yo thanks for sitting on y'all i really appreciate it um i hope you learned something from it if you found value in this please share like tag somebody drop a comment let's you know converse in the comment section tell me what you think tell me what you'd add you know what i mean and let's just build together see you on the next one